So today we're going to talk about LRB Pan, and I think that she technically is the first active skill unit in game because she comes out January 29th of 2019, and LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta come out January 30th of 2019, right? So B Pan is the first active skill unit in game that you are not able to use until you get her awakening medals fully and then the lr super saiyan fours are the first active skill unit in game that you are able to use immediately right so yeah technically she is the first active skill unit in the data but you wasn't able to dokkan awaken her into an lr because you needed to wait to get those 15 medals right during the fourth year anniversary and like i said the lr super saiyan fours you able to use them immediately right both were very easy activation conditions lr super saiyan four is just the fourth turn for start of battle and you have b pan who's just third turn for start of battle very easy and simple so she came out during the battle road meta right and she had two separate procs of stun chances over Toba and Itiki super attack as well as hp recovery and a 50 percent chance to gain 55 percent damage reduction so she was quite solid during the battle road meta because of course 2019 technically is the legendary goku event meta but it doesn't come out to goku day of 2019 what's going on guys it's your boy dev back with another one of these dope combat videos and today we're gonna talk about lr b pan everyone's favorite utility based unit right quote unquote favorite so lrb pan is a unit that comes out during the fourth year anniversary and dokkan awakens during 2019 obviously now i believe that she was actually pretty decent inside her tur to her lr right yeah she had what's that what chance stun is that she had a 25 percent chance stun she recovered hp dealt his damage well i'm just gonna call it hp recovery she had hp recovery with it and she had a 50 percent chance to get 50 percent damage reduction right her TUR to LR was definitely quite decent back in 2017 and 2018. Yeah. So going back on over to LRB Pan, how was she performed during the meta that she came out during that being the battle room meta? She performed rather well because she had a stun in both her 12 and ETK super attack as well as HP recovery and a 50% chance to get 55% damage reduction. Sure, that 55% damage reduction was obviously a coin flip, but it was something, right? It was worth burning the item for B Pan because, I mean, that active skill was quite powerful. She did recover HP as well as having that stun chance. When she stunned, it was nice. When she didn't, it was okay because burning the item for her back in 2019 during that battle room, it was definitely a okay, right? So, how does she look after she EZAs during 2021, that being the God of it meta? So, I think that her and the God of it meta could definitely work for sure because she does have 55% damage reduction and that can be pretty good in there for sure. Even though her defense is not that high. You can definitely make this work in there, right? Her Them making her damage reduction unrestricted was the biggest W about this card. So, her in the God event. Hmm. Now, the big thing is that she doesn't have defense with her damage reduction. But you could make the case that you can run B-Pan for a speed blitzing strategy where you run a bunch of offensive units and get to like the third turn with her. And she just gets on rotation, pops this bad boy, and that's just, <clears throat> that's curtains, right? So her during the God Event meta, I think that she can definitely work in there, for sure. Yeah, could you take a super attack from those God Event bosses? Let's go ahead and bring up some of those God Event bosses, right? I don't remember the physical God Event boss because I haven't talked about the God Event in a while, haven't I? Let me go ahead and get the God Events. Honestly, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind like a new sort of stage like the God Event, to be honest. You know, I think it would be pretty cool. Uh, physical, we have Sidra. Sidra is too easy, so I think that she would just destroy him moscow is definitely a little annoying but i think that she would perform well in moscow because she would be constantly recovering hp right you know this b pan right here she will constantly be recovering hp as well as having her damage reduction up so i think she'll be pretty sound inside moscow also i like that they make both her 12 and atp super attack post easy a 30 percent chance is done yeah that's really nice that's definitely really really nice they also give her a 50 percent chance to get three key twice yeah <clears throat> that's pretty cool that's definitely pretty cool they change her attack buff. No, they don't. I think if they made this two turns, that would have been nasty. That would have been really, really nasty. So, uh, how does she look in today's meta? Now, B Pan in today's meta, in the red zone meta. Hmm. I think she can definitely skate by, but it's really dependent on what type of team that you're trying to run, right? Like, if you're running, like, a GT Heroes type of team, then you can probably squeeze her in there post EZA, of course. And she can maybe get the job done but you got to be very very careful when you're running a unit like this in there because of course if she gets touched she explodes but i definitely think that in the red zone 
for specific stages, she can probably work in there because her active skill is definitely still quite powerful. 33% attack for one turn to all allies can definitely make the difference between killing the boss and leaving the boss with a slither of health. How many 200% leader skills is she on? Is she on any of the hybrid saiyans 200% leader skills? Well, there's only one hybrid saiyans 200% leader skill. I don't remember what his leader skill was. It's bond of parent child and will be her. So yeah, she is, right? Yeah, she is. Okay, she's, she's on LR Ultimate Gohan's 200% leader skill with Hybrid Sands and Bond of Parent Child. Uh, Dragon Ball Seekers should be a yes, right? Yeah. It should be a yes because of Tech Pan. What is Tech Pan again? Tech Pan is for who? I'm sorry, Tech Pan. I don't remember your leader skill. Bond of Friendship, Dragon Ball Seekers, and GT Heroes. So, yeah, she is on both Bond of Friendship. She's on Dragon Ball Heroes. And no, not Dragon Ball. Excuse me. <laughs> Dragon Ball Seekers. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm a little bit under the weather, I'm just a little a little sick, so if I'm like just losing it, then that's just why, right? Because I keep clearing my my voice and it's just, that shit hurts a little bit. So, <clears throat> she technically is on the uh, Tech Pan's 200% uh, disco because she's both Bond of Friendship, she's on all these categories, alright? Yeah, she's on Bond of Friendship, Dragon Ball Seekers, GT Heroes, she's there, she's on two 200% leader skills, yeah, and uh, she's also on... Hmm, she's not on Goku's family's 200% leader skill. She's not on... Is she on a youth 200? She is. She's on Path to Power Goku's 200% leader skill? She is, yeah. Because she's on youth and she's on Dragon Ball Seekers as well as Bond of Friendship. Okay, that's that's definitely nice, right? Space Driving Warriors would be a no because she's not on Ginyu's team. GT Heroes. She doesn't do the Kamamiha though. Hmm. Let me get you real quick. Your Power of Wishes though. Yeah, she's not Power of Wishes or Battle of Fate, right? Uh, yeah, you're not coming behind though, too. Okay, that's, that's definitely something. That's definitely something. A uh, bond of friendship. I mean, quite clearly, we pretty much already got that out the way, right? Uh, bond of parent child is a no. Wars raised on earth is a no. So she's on three 200% leader skills. Yeah, that's definitely nice. Yeah, tech pants 200% leader skill. I mean, why would you want to run her on tech pants 200% leader skill, though? Huh? Well, I mean, technically, you could run her on tech pants 200% leader skill because she would be slot three, but it's something it's something right so what is good about lrb pan so i think the first thing that's good about lrb pan pretty easy of course was the fact that she was quite good inside battle road right because she had the stun chances both for 12 and atk super attack as well as hp recovery and a chance to gain that damage reduction it's like if that damage reduction procced it was great but if it didn't it could hurt her technically if you did not pop an item and her active skill is definitely quite powerful giving all allies 33 percent attack for one turn and it was a very easy activation condition where you were able to activate it from the third turn from the start of battle. Now, what is good about her post EZA? The main thing that's good about her post EZA is the fact that her damage reduction is unrestricted, and that is all. I really think that they should have made her active skill give all allies 33% attack and defense, but hey, that's just something that I think they should have done. And they should have just made it two turns, because why not, right? So, what is bad about her? I think the only thing that's bad about her is clearly, one, she starts out with no attack and defensive buff. Two, she doesn't get a defense buff for 12 and ATK super attack. And three is the fact that she is technically overloaded on key links, right? Because Battlefield Diva, GT, Shattering Limit, the same lineage, right? What's her best link partner? <laughs> Pan herself. <laughs> right? Let me see how much they get all together. So, a 5% chance to dodge, 9 key. 40% of defense and 35% attack. Yeah, I just think those are some of the bad things about her, right? And they could have made her active skill just slightly a bit better, right? 33% attack and defense for two turns. I don't see why not. That would have been cool. But I think that is all there is to be said about LRB Pan. A very useful unit. You can get away with her in the red zone. I, I think so. I think so. And like the like the middle ground stages of the red zone, like the like four, five, and six, maybe. Maybe better yet. Now we got to see. Let me go ahead on over to challenge events real quick. I got to see this now, right? Okay. Uh, let me get you and let me get to you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about these, uh, the GT bosses and I want to talk about the movie bosses, right? So, of course, the first three stages of both of them, she's easy claps, right? Uh, baby. Baby, Super 17, and Shadow Dragons. Hmm. I don't know about Shadow Dragons, but Super 17, sure. And Baby is a sure because LR Super Saiyan 4 is complete. They just get body the stage. They just destroy the stage. As long as you get past the AGL Baby phase, and she will be a okay, right? We see the movie bosses. The first two stages are easy claps for her with her. Uh, Andrew 13 is 
probably a hell no because Andrew 13 will just smoke her shit. Yeah, disables dodge. She gets touched. She can get blown out by Andrew 13. Bojack can definitely blow her out too. And Janemba. Yeah, nah. For the movie bosses ones, no. But the GT bosses, yes. But I think that's really about it. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.